who yes. not only says what he believes, but is willing to put himself in jeopardy for what he believes, and will help us economically and spiritually and uh, in every way in this nation. So today we pray for Donald Trump. Yes. yes. We pray for his family. We yes. pray for his his associates. We pray that what he has heard today from those who have spoken into his life, he will consider. Lord, I pray that you will bring into his life a, a strong uh, African American who can stand with him and represent yes. that community so that his voice will be heard even in a stronger yes. way there. Lord, whatever it is you're going to do to bring around him the right people as he moves forward in this campaign, we ask you to give him direction and give him hope. And Lord, Thank you for allowing us to be here for this special moment. Perhaps we'll look back on this day and remember that we stood together and we prayed over the next president of the United States. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. 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 Father, you said in your word, Yes, Lord. Any man that lacks wisdom, yes. let him ask of God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, who give up liberally to all men, glory, and upbraid or not. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavers. For any man that wavers is like the blowing wind on the water. Let not that man think he shall receive anything from the Lord. No man can be successful as President of the United States without your wisdom. And so we ask you today yes, yes. to give this man your yes, wisdom yes, yes. boldly. Yes. Make sure yes, and certain that he hears. Yes. yes. Manifest yourself to him. Yes. And we thank you and praise you for a bold man, yes. a strong man, yes. and an obedient. Yes. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The only two nations that have ever been in a relationship with God are Israel and the United States of America. Father God, in Yeshua's name, if you bring this man into the Oval Office, I speak your blessing yes. over him for the sake yes. of your people. Yes. Yahweh Bishmarecha. Ya'er Yahweh Panabe Lecha Bihunecha. Yisa Yahweh Panabe Lecha Be'asem Lecha. Shalom. Father, for the sake of you, your glory, your kingdom, yes. because of your love of Donald Trump. Yes. Donald Trump, the Lord bless you and keep you. Yes. Yes. The Lord make his face shine on you yes. and be gracious yes. to you. Yes. The Lord lift you up with his countenance yes. and the Lord give you his peace. And Father, as you gave Solomon wisdom to govern your people. Yes. Father, if you exalt this man to the highest office in this land, Father, we pray for wisdom that you would be glorified and that your glory would be seen in this country. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we just secure him right now by the blood of Jesus. We thank you that no weapon formed against him will be able to prosper. And any tongue that rises against him will be condemned according to the word of God. And even as we lay hands on him right now, let your hand be laid upon him. Let him have a greater encounter with you. A greater encounter with the spirit of God. That according to Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, the eyes of his understanding would be enlightened. That he may know what is the hope of the riches of the glory of the inheritance of the saints. That any veil would be removed and his eyes would be open to see the glory and the goodness of God all the days of this life let him live well I secure him I secure his children I secure his calling and his mantle in Jesus name amen amen